Hi, I'm Sarah Chapman, skincare expert, and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar to show you some great at-home facial tips to give you glowing skin. I'm going to start with cleansing, which is almost the most important part of your skincare routine. Cleansing is something you should work really thoroughly with. So don't just kind of do a quick and wash it off because you've got to get into the pores, into the dirt, into the grime, really clean the skin. And if you can try to do some massage movements as well when you're doing this at home, it'll help stimulate the blood flow, help drainage. And actually working from the centre of the face out to just below the earlobe is going to help your lymphatic drainage. Do some drainage, do some deep massage, cleanse a couple of times. You can take your cleanser right over the eyes and it will melt off all your mascara, your eyeshadow, everything that's sitting there from the day. And then you can just sweep everything away. A nice thing to do then is something like a, a toning type of product. I'm gonna use a gentle resurfacing liquid which contains little micro acids to just take away any of the dead skin cells and really purify the skin. Then use that to really sort of clean up the skin, freshen skin, remove any traces of that cleanser. And this is good to really work on any little dead skin cells sitting on the surface. I'm actually going to do a little home steam, something that we do in all our treatments in the clinic, or a lot of our treatments in the clinic, is facial steaming. So I'm actually going to pop on a uh, lactic acid ampule, which comes in our radiance recharge system. Lactic acid will sort of gently dissolve all those dead cells and then I'm going to use the steam to really work that into the skin. Steaming's really good to sort of open up the pores, soften the skin. And then when you've finished with your steaming, you can sweep over to remove any of the excess. You should see this little flush to the cheeks. You should see that I'm a little bit pink, which is great because it's boosting that blood flow and oxygen. Um, and then we're going to actually put on a um, moisturising mask. And if you're laying down and relaxing, you can pop up and cover your eyes as well. Always important to look after the eyes. So if you can take sort of five, ten minutes to do that, you can actually lay down and have a nice rest. There's one tip if you're using a sheet mask. Um, actually, to take the outer side, so like this biocellulose mask has two sheets either side, when you use these, there's loads of serum on these, so don't throw them away. Either squeeze out what you can and use it sort of on the neck and chest or the backs of the hands, or you literally grab hold of it and rub it wherever you want all of that gorgeous serum. And you can actually take um, also a piece of it and just fold it and kind of create your own neck mask. Just don't waste them, and if you're laying down, that will just stick whilst you're doing your um, mask treatment. So it's kind of a way that you can get loads more out of it. So once you've done your at-home mask, so we've cleansed, we've steamed, we've used a little lactic peel and a resurfacing liquid, and then you've had your mask, you can remove that and just massage all of the excess of that gorgeous serum in, and then give yourself a little home massage. So you can take a nice oil, something that's um, really good to get a little bit of slip on the skin, and then smooth it onto the skin. Make sure you get it everywhere around the face. If you're doing this at home, do the neck, behind the ears, around the back of the neck. All of this is really an extension of the face. And then work with your hands to really feel into your skin and to really move the muscles and smooth everything. And then you can do some great sort of drainage movements to really deeper. You can use again those knuckles. You can do some sort of pinching, tapping. You can do some rolling. Gently around the eyes because that tissue is really fine so you don't want to do anything that's going to drag, pull or stretch it. Some lovely pressure points. There's one in here that works really well for headaches. But if you just very gently pulse and release that can really help to release lots of tension. Very gentle little pinching movements around the eyes or pressure points or just gentle smoothing to drain away for the dark circles and puffiness. And moving up the forehead so that you're really 
getting that lovely lifting effect to your brows is a really nice one. I don't know if you can see, but my skin's got a little bit of pinkness to it, which is exactly what you want to do. So if you're giving yourself a massage at home, try to create such an energy in your skin that you get a flush to the skin, because that's where you're going to get all those fantastic benefits. So if you find doing all of those movements quite difficult, um, you can actually take this, which is very easy to use, and literally hold it horizontally to the jawline, so you're up at that level rather than that, and just push and roll. It's the sort of thing that you can pick up at any time and really give yourself a good massage. Guys love this as well. And you can work up and down the sides of the neck as well. That's really nice, again, if you get that sort of tension. So if you are really looking after your skin and doing some facials at home, they'd be really good about using your sunscreen. So I love HelioCare, which do fantastic SPF 50s. It's a really nice finish to the skin that you can kind of have your skin protection if you're looking after your skin, having facials, doing facials on yourself and keeping that gorgeous glow. Thank you for watching Skin School. Let us know how you get on at home with your at-home facial.